theorem, we will have a result like Px over Qx, but Qx always not equal to zero. Qx will have repeating factors, repeating linear factors actually, repeating linear factors. As an example, can consider like x a minus x minus a x minus b square. Then the partial fractions will be x minus b x minus c plus so x minus b over c. Yeah. I put x minus a over here and I just added only the linear one x minus b and the x minus b whole thing is square. Assume if it is third power, you will have to write b over x minus b, c over x minus b and also d over x minus b to the power 3. If it is fourth power, you will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 sides. All the time, if you have the repeating factor, you have the starting from the first order until the, the last order that you have. If it is nth order, you will have 1, x minus b1, x minus b2, x minus b3, likewise up to n. Let's consider example. x minus 4 x minus 1 to the power 2 so the partial fractions will be 3x minus 4 x minus 1 x minus 1, whole thing is square. Here is second power, and we have this top at the second power. Now, the, the thing is same. What we have to go? We have to find the LCM, LCM, least common multiplier, and take a LCM for the right hand side. So, comparing with this, you should multiply it by square and b x minus 1 and 3x minus 4 3x minus 4 3x minus 4 x minus 1 square these two getting cancelled 7x minus 10 minus 1 square three x minus four. The process is same. What we have to go and do, we have to put plus one, x equal three by four, four by three. When you put x equal one, it will be seven minus ten equal zero zero and c will be appear at minus 1 and c is equal to plus 3 over here when you put x equal 4 by 3 7 into 4 by 3 minus 10 equal these two getting 0 but here it's a 4 by 3 minus 1 square so the likewise you will get a as minus 6 C equal plus 3. So the next this next important thing is how to find B. You can see if you put X equal 1, this also cancel. If you put X equal 4 by 3, this also again cancel. Then this kind of situations, what we are going to do, we have to compare the coefficient of the both sides. 
in here you can see when you simplify this bracket you will have x square when you simplify it over here you will have again x square and only x square is given by a and b only these two then I'm going to compare coefficient of coefficient of x square coefficient of x square you see we don't have x square over here this coefficient of x square is zero but here we will have x square and a multiplied by the x square and only a over here when you multiply these two brackets we will have 3 x square 3 x square multiplied by b then it's 3 b x square then only the coefficient is 3 b so the previous result we had a is minus 6 then I'm going to simply substitute that value in 3b equals 6 b equal 2 these are the unknown constants now we found all the constants the last step is you have to write the answer c equal plus 3 b equal plus 2 and a is minus 6 Then the final answer 7x minus 10 over 3x minus 4 x minus 1 square equal Six over three x minus four. Two over x minus one. Three over x minus one square. But over here it's negative. So this is the second deal. Theorem number three EX over QX and QX order is greater than PX order. order means the largest power and also qx not equal to zero as well as qx have should have at least one quadratic part it's like this assume will have x minus a x minus b but here it's x squared plus c unfortunately this quadratic one is not simplified it's like x squared plus one x squared plus three or something like that so we can't use the difference between two squared to the positive side so this is not simplified therefore the partial fractions will be a over x minus a b over x minus b is like the first theorem but this, the next one should be cx plus d divided by x squared plus c x squared plus c these are the partial fraction of the third theorem so always third theorem we are focusing on this kind of situations qx should have at least one quadratic part if it is cubic part, if it is cubic part like x cubed plus c, you should have insert cx squared plus dx plus e to the numerator. If it is fourth order, this should be third order. If it is fifth order, it should be fourth order. If it is second order, it should be linear. Right. Now you can understand 
<coughs> now you can understand the behavior of this one. If it is linear, we are just putting on the constants. Let me, let me discuss another example. Here, 1 plus x over 1 minus x, 1 plus x squared. Partial fractions will be a over 1 minus x, bx plus c over 1 plus x squared. The process is safe. You have to take a c a, a multiplied by 1 plus x squared, bx plus c, this whole thing should be multiplied by 1 minus x. And the numerator, 1 minus x, 1 plus x squared. These two getting cancelled. And so it will be 1 plus x equal a into 1 plus x squared, bx plus c into 1 minus x. Now, I'm going to put plus 1, and it will be 2 into a, 1 plus 1 is 2, and a equal 1. To find z, I'm just putting x equals 0 to the equation, and it will be 1, a plus 0, b plus c. Then, a equal 1, c will be 0. To find b, I'm just considering the coefficient of x squared. The coefficients of x squared. Here, you, on the left hand side, we don't have x squared terms. The coefficient is 0. But over here, we will have a. Over here, we will have this and this it's minus b minus bx squared so directly a will be equal to b a is 1 b also plus 1 these are the <laughs>